what's up guys learning with rich here in this video i'm going to show you how to modify our schedule so we are going to add some fields that has a calculation ability to our schedule so we are going to add some calculated value uh, parameter so let's say for example i'm gonna include the total cost parameter to our schedule okay so let's do this so let me open the schedule that we have created last time all right and then after that so let us add some uh, field to our schedule so let's go to the properties let's look for the fields click the edit and then i'm gonna add here the the volume double click the volume and i also want to add here the cost so the volume and then the cost is the two parameter that i'm gonna use to create my uh, calculated parameter okay i'm gonna use the volume and cost for the formula now to add our calculated value parameter so let's say the total cost parameter so i'm going to select add calculated parameter okay so you click that icon and then you can specify here the name so let's say this will gonna be the total cost and then for the option here so we're gonna use formula discipline here is uh, I'll just use common and then for the type uh, I'll just use number okay so just number and then for the formula so let's type in here so the formula will gonna be uh, we'll use the volume so make sure it's the same capitalization and small letters so if your parameter here is a small letter V so make sure the formula is also a small letter V okay because we are using that for our formula and then I want to multiply it the multiply is the asterisk symbol multiply it by the cost divided by one one foot and then let's put the carrot symbol so that is alt zero nine four so that's how you add your uh, carrot symbol so it's alt zero nine four okay and then raise to three okay so let's say this is the formula that i would like so you can also click the ast the the ellipsis button here to select exactly the field that you want to be included to your formula okay but in our case i'll just type it just like this one okay so that's now my formula so i'm now gonna select here okay there you go okay so this formula will calculate the total cost based on the volume unit of one cubic yard okay now let's uh, calculate our v beam volume okay so let me just uh, select okay here all right so there's now my uh, volume cost and total cost now the next thing that i'm gonna do is i'm going to calculate the beam volume so to do that let's go again to our properties and then go to the formatting and then for the volume so we are going to modify the field format of the volume so you click that and then let's uh, change this oh mm, no so instead I'll just calculate the total here okay calculate total for our volume so volume calculate total okay and then after that I'll just select here okay and then there's now the total volume of my types b1 b2 and b3 okay now um, let us do some calculation so i want to go again to my formatting and then for the total cost i want this to be calculate totals as well so i'm going to select this and then after that i'm going to select here okay so now that we have set our total cost to calculate total so we are now going to put some value here for the cost so uh, for example i'm going to type some value here for the uh, s1 or for my b1 
So I'll just type 1 here and then I enter. Yes. So this change will be applied to all of elements of type. Okay. So I'll just select here OK. And there you go. So there's now your calculate total. It will going to be applied to all type of this, uh, to all concrete beam of this type here. Because this is a type uh, properties. So let's say for the the next one so let's say i'll just type here uh 1.25 i enter just select okay there you go and then for this one so let's say uh two enter okay there you go now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to format our total cost here so let's say i want to include the dollar sign so i'll just go back again to my edit so we're going to format our total cost to include the currency value. So total cost. And then let's go to the field format. So we need to clear the use default settings. So clear that one. And then for the unit, I'm going to select your currency. And then let's put a decimal places here. Let's say two decimal places. And then for the unit symbol, I'll just select here the dollar sign. There you go. And then I'll just select your OK. And then let's see what will happen. There you go. So it's now updated. All right. So basically, that's how you add some fields, additional fields. And that's how you add your total cost parameter, which is a calculated parameter. Now, if we are going to open the 0 to floor, you will see here that when you click one of the beam here, and then open up the type properties, you can see the, the cost here. So it's updated, right? So it's 125. Now, if, if I'm going to change this here on the type properties, it will change all the 16 by 32 as well. So if I change this to 3.5, for example, if I select here, OK. So our um, schedule is going to be updated as well. That's the one. There you go. So that's it for this video. So hopefully you learned something. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, just put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.